in terms of uh, a challenge for you, how, how much of a challenge has the severe weather been for you as an organisation? Well, it is a challenge. Our gritters and our gritter drivers and all our service copes very well with normal frost and ice conditions. But obviously, as you can see from the whole of the UK, there are some really different conditions coming out here. Um, we always pre-treat the roads, which means we put a lot of salt down before the snowfall actually comes. But when you have consistently freezing temperatures and layers upon layers of snow and sleet, then the salt tends to remain inert underneath. And so what we have to do is switch to ploughing, gritting, ploughing, gritting, salting to try and shift the compacted layers of snow and ice and get back down to the road surface. Okay. And in terms of the, the equipment that, that you have to do this, vehicles, um, etc., um, do, do we have uh, the right equipment to, to handle this kind of a logistical challenge? We do have the right equipment. We have some 4 by 4 gritters, we have ploughs. I think with this type of snowfall, maybe we could look at whether we increase the amount of 4x4s four that we have, for example, but we do. I think the problem for the vehicles and the equipment is it's very, very punishing. What we've been doing is double shifting drivers, so we'll have a nighttime shift, then we'll have a daytime shift. We'll have the ploughs on an awful lot of the time, so obviously it's quite punishing on vehicles. If you were running your own car 24-7, then obviously you know it would start to, to feel it a bit. But we've managed to do most of our full routes, so we have been keeping the vehicles on the road, going round all the main routes and all the bus routes at least twice a night, often in the daytime, and during the heaviest amounts of snowfall, then we've done continuous running, which means we just run all night on a loop system. Okay, and, and who's been doing this this work? Who's the, who are the staff that do this? I have, uh, there's myself and four winter duty officers who are taken from the highways team. Those are the officers that read the weather forecast, talk to our weather forecast, and make the decisions about what best to do and what treatments are best to use. They will coordinate the gritter drivers who actually come from the City Clean um, refuse and recycling driving staff. Without um, putting a lot more money into the, the service, how best can we prepare for next year if there is a similar if there is similar severe weather? Well, I think Mother Nature will always be a challenge and what the problem is forecasts are never particularly accurate more than say twenty four to forty eight hours ahead. We've actually used a JCB to clear snow drifts, for example, with a tractor trailer behind it to collect the snow in it, so we're not just put ploughing onto banks and therefore creating a risk it'll fall down again. We've used, obviously, as you can see, tractors and trailers to get out to grit pavements where the roads are quite inaccessible. Um, we've used um, quite a lot of grit in our mix um, on some of the more resistant roads because that does actually help break it down. It's not actually a question of saving salt, it's a question of using the treatment that works best. And what it does is it breaks down the compacted ice. But the main thing as well is that we do need actually quite a lot of traffic. So it is a catch-22. We need to make the roads as safe as possible so as much traffic as possible can run. And do we have enough grit and salt to take us through a potential another uh, severe cold snap? What, right now? <laughs> um, I think we do, yes. I mean, it's always, it depends how long and it depends what treatments you need to use. I know it's a bit of a sort of balancing act. Um, as you're aware, there is a national issue in the lo and you know, it's not just local government, that national government has become involved. But our stocks are actually reasonably healthy at the moment.